All right, hey everybody, and welcome back to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott, and I've got another match of X-Wing 2nd Edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Lobster on the left and Ghost on the right. Lobster, Flying, Vader, Sunterfell, and Vermeil. He flew this list a little earlier today against some Separatists. Uh, didn't handle the Swarm quite so well. But uh, it should be able to deal with this four ship list a little bit better. Um, that four ship list being oh, a five ship list, actually. <laughs> Three B wings, a U wing, and the Sheathapede. We all know the Sheathapede counts as half a ship. Uh, some Rebel Beef. Lots and lots of hull and shield to uh, chew through here. Three Blue Squadron S, uh, Blue Squadron pilots, AP five, and a partisan renegade with Leia. Had exactly two hundred points. He was going back and forth between Leia and a um, tactical officer. Went back to Leia. We'll see if that pays off for him. Let's go ahead and put some numbers by these B wings so that we can tell who's who. There we go. Vader goes ahead and locks that rock. Is there any jam on the table? I don't think you can, you can coordinate with the U wing. You cannot jam. Okay. But why not? Got a lot of gas clouds on the table these days. Not a lot of downsides. Pretty good for uh, Vader with his force points. Skipping that action step isn't quite so bad. Sutra fell at the top of the board. Gonna play the long game. We'll see if the U-Wing lets him do that. Vermeil in the middle. Does have uh, aileron, so we'll have to do a, uh, a one speed maneuver before he moves. Heading towards that block of B-Wings just seems like a bad idea. And he is initiative four, so he's gonna move before the or after those B-Wings. So it's very likely they could block him. AP5 heading around the side. ship. Wish we could see more of it. But with these uh, larger and larger ship number lists, it just gets focused down and doesn't get to accomplish quite so much. See if we get to see Death Troopers trigger this game. Checking these dials again. Alright, AP5's down. Should be it for Ghost. So a, a uh, one speed maneuver forward plus the base length of Vermeil. It's going to be hard for him to get anywhere. I mean, maybe he could do something funky like a one bank sloop. <clears throat> Somebody's looking at dials. That looks like a Ewing.
There's the two hard from AP5. Is he gonna coordinate? He sure is. Goes ahead and gives him a focus. So we're probably gonna see a target lock as his action. Ewing moves up with a two bank. Fits just nicely around that gas cloud. Looks like it's taken a focus. Maybe thinking about coordinating. So he should have coordinated to blue number two and then... Yeah, whatever, it's fine. Here's the two bank from Blue Squadron number two. Taking that target lock. On Vermeil. Is he thinking about going after Vader? Yeah. I'm getting ballsy. <clears throat> Here's a two bank. Ooh, that's awful close to that debris, and yet is not on the debris. Nicely done. The B-Wing does have a focus into a linked action barrel roll. He wants to get up here and try to block. Sunterfell might have a easy go of it. There's the one forward out of the blue squadron pilot number three. <clears throat> I think I would have liked that B-Wing here. All right, Vermeil goes first. There's the one forward. Maybe he gets the block anyway. Goes for a three forward. Yep, nice block. Vermeil, no mods. Two forward from Sunterfell. He's already got the Bullseye arc lined up, it looks like. Well, actually, he should probably barrel roll. Focus, linked action, barrel roll. This is the real auto thrusters now. Does he barrel roll backward? No, he, roll he went forward. Okay, he's fine. Oh, he doesn't even go for the... Uh... Oh, that's right, he doesn't need focus. He's got Predator. He uses the two actions to close the distance. Nicely done. One bank from Vader. Probably going to throw out that target lock somewhere. He's got auto thrusters if he wants to try and boost out of this. That would be awful close. Could just barrel roll. So his first action will be to move, or to put a target lock, uh, move it off this gas cloud, put it on blue number two and he takes a focus with his force point Sunterfell gets the uh, focus from the bullseye gonna take a shot into the partisan renegade 3v2 hit crit predator on the third dice gets a focus He's not worried about taking any fire, so he spins it for hit, hit, crit. Ewing, rolling two dice. One evade, two natty evades. Takes the crit on the shields. Not the best you could hope for there. Modest proposal, thanks for the follow. All right, Vader's gonna take his shot range two into this blue squadron pilot. This is number two. Advanced targeting computers online, giving him a third dice. He can fire control system that blank, so he doesn't have to spend the lock. Oof. Does he spend a force point? He does to make it a hit, and then advanced targeting computer makes it a crit. Ooh, with the BM Natty Evade on the B-Wing. Takes the crit on the shield of number two. Vermeil, gonna get a shot. 
Doesn't have any range one shots, unfortunately. Gonna shoot into AP5, who doesn't have any mods. There's a hit. And AP5 doesn't have any mods, so Vermeil's ability allows him to change a result into a hit. That's two on to AP5, who does get to roll two dice. One Natty Evade, and the shield is gone on AP5. So who's going to start us off here? Probably start with this guy. He only has one shot into Vader. And this guy. Shoot these two first. Checking the uh, which one is which. All right, here comes this shot, the closest one to Vader. Three dice with a focus versus three dice with a focus and a force point. One hit. Vader should be fine, but we've seen stranger things. There's one evade. It was very close. Alright, pilot number one. I'm gonna shoot right back into him. Probably range two. Yep, range two, Innovator. Oof. Two hits thanks to the focus. Uh, gets a reroll. Oh, because of the target lock. Spins the focus for three. Needs any blank to get one through. Oh, complete blank out on Vader. He's going to use hate to regen those force points, though. Surely. That's half points on Vader. And all the force points come back. All right, another B-Wing shooting into Vader, range three. Three dice with a focus. Number one with a bullet, let's go. There it is. All paint, all hits. Two evades, takes one. All right, you ain't gonna shoot into evader as well. Wants to get in on the action. Two hits. And two eyeballs. He is fine. AP5. No. Okay. <laughs> Gonna shoot into Vermeil, I would assume. There's one crit. One focus. Vermeil takes it on the shields. Probably the right call there. To, uh... You take the shots uh, you don't have any choice about. 
And then if you get something like that where, oh no, uh, Vader's suddenly on two hull or one hull, then you take those long shots. Otherwise, you just take these guaranteed range one, range two shots. So do we see a Leia trigger coming here? Could, you could do. Could see AP5 stop. See the U-Wing stop. See the uh, B-Wing dial. Has a 2K or a 1 Talon. Could 1 Talon this way. It just seems like you're opening yourself up. 2K might fit. Could be two base lengths. It'd be very close. So one shield on the U-Wing, one shield on AP-5, and one on the second B-Wing for almost all of Vader. That's that's not bad. One shield on Vermeil as well. see these B-Wings just stay there. Could have coordination for both of these ships to give these maybe potential bumping ships mods. like lobster is ready to go how about ghost yep there he is all right there aren't any systems oh well leia goes off. Here's a stop maneuver from the Partisan Renegade, who takes a focus. Does he want to turn? Nope, he's going to stay right there, and I think that's a fine idea. There's a coordinate from AP5 who moved backwards. Always great when you see that.
Looks like he gives a focus to blue squadron number three. Two dials got mixed up, two and three. There's the 2K, and it does fit! Nicely done. It is white thanks to Leia, takes a focus. One Talon roll bumps. That's unfortunate. One bank just fits in there, takes a target lock, puts it on Vader. Alright, Vermeil, gotta try and do an aileron maneuver first. He does, and ooh, there's that one sloop. Alright, uh, Sutrafell moves up, gets the focus from the bullseye, triple hits into the... I think it's this B-Wing? No, uh, evidently. I was making sure, so the, the U-Wing stopped, but it didn't turn, so I guess it didn't close its wing, so it gets to evade dice. So, one, uh, one shield there. Looks like Vader ran away. Vermeil shooting into pilot number three. Pilot number two has lost all of its shields. this shot into Vader. Ooh, there's hit crit focus. He's going to spin nothing because he doesn't have any mods. He bumped. Vader gets an evade. And does he spin? He spins a force point. Yep. Makes sense.
hit crit crit from this B wing into Vermeil. Uh, one evade, so that's all the shields gone on the Reaper. shot into Vader. Range 3, obstructed by the gas cloud. Spins a focus. Doesn't have a focus, does he? No. He spent it on defense. So just one, which should be negated by the cloud and odds and everything else. Vermeil took a hole. There we go. So, 38 points for Ghost, 21 for Lobster. charge on Leia. These B-Wings pointed in all different directions here. They are able to do K's and turns again if they need to, but it won't be white like it was last turn. Stop maneuver, still a pretty good maneuver from the Ewing. Sorry, we've got the uh, Kyber Cup final setting up over here. So that must be half of that B wing. Still, yeah, it still seems like a stop from the U wing. Be the right call. Force Sunterfell to run past you. Although if he bumps, it's not too bad because he gets the guaranteed focus. Ah, oh, thanks for the follow. Time's left. 44 minutes left. Plenty of time left in this match.
see Vader's got all of his force points left I wonder if that would that mean he can turn around without worry or should he keep running try and kite these guys I think if you if you run these B wings are just gonna focus down Vermeil he's got what five left yep AP5 moves up with a two bank. Looking for that coordinate. Takes a focus on the uh, Ewing. Stops with the Ewing again. Takes a stress. He's going to turn his ship. Ninety degrees to the left. Looking to catch. Oh. The uh, configuration card isn't down here. It's gonna <laughs> write in text over here. The wings are closed. Yeah, you lose your agility and you turn 90 degrees. There's a command that you can type for turning ships in this game in the description of the ship, and I, I can never remember what it is. It's like hard left zero or something. fine-tune it here. There's the one bank and the two hard. There's the one talent roll. Ooh, lands on the debris. Gonna double stress him. Lands on it no matter how you push and pull it. Double stress. Gonna roll for it. Anything but the crit and he's fine. stress oh there's another under there okay Vermeil moves uh, bumps 
4K from Vader, pretty safe. Goes for the last afterburner. Boosts forward. Soon Trafell gets his free evade. And he's got a range 3 shot into AP5, or a range 3 shot into number 3. Probably good to go after AP5. Three v three. One crit. Gonna stay with it. He sees all these B wings staring him down. Two evades, so AP five is safe. Is this a Vader? Yep. So advanced targeting computer is online. Three v two. Which B-Wing is this? This is number two, so it is the damaged B-Wing. Ooh, blank, blank. And a crit. He's going to spin the lock, so no advanced targeting computer anymore. Spins a force point to get a hit. Double evades from the B-Wing. Not today, Mr. Vader. Vermeil's gonna shoot. Does he catch the corner? No, so he can shoot into this focused up uh, B wing. Hit crit. Doesn't have any mods. B wing's gonna take the crit at least. Ooh, but he evades the hit. So that's on number two, who takes. One damage. Oh, that is a crit. Whoops. Uh, number two is the damage one. Console fire is the crit. That will go off before he engages. Looks like... Who shot is it? Looks like the B-Wing should be engaging now. Alright, looks like number three is going to take a shot into Vermeil. Doesn't have any mods, so needs some naturals. Hit crit. This one fell into the uh, dice oblivion. Two focuses. So the crit's going through. The hit and the crit are going through on Vermeil. And that crit is... Disabled power regulator, so that'll go off next round. So they'll do number three first. Range two into Sunterfell. 3v3. Hit crit. And two of eights. There's one hit. Two focuses. He spins the focus. It's the last. Should be the last combat. Oh, that's the U-Wing. Hit, hit, crit into Vermeil. He is dead.
Okay, so that was another damage into Blue Squadron number two from Console Fire. Uh, ooh, almost forgot about AP5. Rolls one hit and Suterfell gets an evade. He's fine. Alright, Vader's finally facing the right direction. Alright, back to dials we go. So unfortunately, no more stopping for the U-Wing. Uh, Leia is up to two now. Kyber lists over here. So Vader on one, Vermeil gone, Sunterfell untouched. Hmm. 29 minutes left, 21 to 97. Rebels definitely on top. But these Imperials might be able to claw their way back. Looks like they're opening up the U-Wings uh, wings here. bank from AP5 to the coordinate. Looking for a ship to coordinate to.
Looks like it coordinates a target lock. Two of these B-Wings have target locks on Vader. One has Sumter Fell. Ooh, one Talon roll. Maybe looking for that block. Slides backwards. Sutra Phil is not stressed though, so could do a one heart if he wants. One Talon roll backwards for Blue Squadron pilot number two. I just don't, I don't love this if Vader just two or three forwards. Sutra Fell, yeah, with the one hard. Gets a bullseye arc into blue squadron number two. Takes the evade, has the focus and the predator. Oh, these guys are going to melt number two. In fact, I don't even think you go after number two. I think you let Sunter Fell get one and then Vader goes after another. Yeah, he's thinking about it. I think he shoots Sunter Fell into the B wing. Yep, he's going after the U-Wing. I think that's smart. And if Sunterfell can't kill the B-Wing, then maybe you take your two dice. Plinky shot. hit crit he's gonna re-roll the focus because he doesn't want to spend it hit it crit into the b-wing gets a focus that's number two who is dead had two hull left now he has no hull left all right vader Range 3 into the U-Wing, advanced target computer, fire control system, and a focus. He gets two crits already. He's going to reroll one with FCS. Ooh, into another blank. The wings are open, so it will be three dice for the U-Wing, but no mods. Two Natty Evades, he's fine. Alright, this B-Wing gonna shoot into Sunterfell, range two. No mods for the B-Wing. 3v3. He needs a lot of naturals. He's got, he's got two. Sunterfell only needs to roll one natural evade. He does, he actually gets two. Does the Sheathapede have a shot? No. Alright, back to dials. Let's see how this is going. Heading straight towards that rock. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, they hit a debris. Oh, rolls the crit on the debris. Oh, no. Loses a shield already. Back to this game.
All right, Vader gets his last force point back. Can these B-Wings get arc? On that TIE V1, he's so close to death. Ooh, Leia is back. Ewing still has one shield left, so if it opted to stop and turn towards the oncoming enemy vessels, it should be able to live through their fire. Vader could one forward, Sunterfell could hard turn. I think you hard one this guy to, to block any sort of turn maneuver from Sunterfell. If you have a hard two, you could probably do that. Same with AP5. Just have all guns facing this way. And then watch Vader just turn and run. Doesn't have any more afterburner, so he can't boost. Two ships, uh, lobster, guaranteed to finish first most times. His dials are down. Got to figure out this U-wing. Is he stressed? No. One bank from AP5 says shooting out the back just as good as the front. AP5 looking to coordinate to three, uses his ability, he's able to coordinate distressed ships, coordinates a barrel roll right to pilot number three. That's. Hmm. Yep, opens up the, uh, or no, closes the Renegade's wings. Turns around to face Vader. We'll lose some agility, but uh, should have the hull and shield to withstand it. Goes for a focus. There's the one hard, which is now white, thanks to Leia. And there's a one hard, which is white. Doesn't relieve the stress. Does get his arc pointed in the right direction.
Yep. There's a one hard from Sunterfell, which makes it further than you think and probably gives him the focus and the Predator. So maybe this isn't great for the U-Wing. A barrel roll from Vader. Spins the charge to focus, or the force point. Does he already have a... Oh boy, where did I go? Does he already have a lock? Yes. Soon to fell. Taking a shot into the U-Wing, who gets one evade dice. Hit crit. I'm going to Predator the blank. Into a blank. If he can get one evade, he does. He takes the crit on the shield. For now, Vader's going to have something to say about that, but he will be shooting through a gas cloud. Range 3, through a cloud. Advanced targeting computers online. He's going to reroll the focus into a blank. Double crits into the U-Wing. If there are any blanks, it will be guaranteed to be an evade thanks to the cloud. But doesn't need it. Evades it all. All right, the Rebel's going to fire back. B-Wings first. Because they're twos. I would shoot this one first, but that's fine. Probably want to shoot Sunterfell here. Yep. 3v3. Oh, if only he'd coordinated a focus. Sunterfell thinking about keeping that focus. I think I'd take the damage here. Yep, takes the damage on Sunterfell. Can't risk getting shot range one by the U-Wing. Blue Squadron number one is going to shoot into Vader. Obstructed. Hit crit. Not bad. Ooh, one evade. Going to have to spin that focus. Or a force point, but focus seems like the right call. I would shoot AP5 first. Yeah, shoot AP5 first. With the same initiative. If you kill Sunterfell, then you can shoot into Vader. He needs some natties. He gets double focus. And then here's the U-Wing shot into Sunterfell. Hit crit. One evade takes the crit into Sunterfell. Neither of them got any um, focus results. Console fire is the crit. One hundred and twenty-four to forty-one. So much beef. Let's see what's going on over here, Vinny, buddy. Not looking too great. Got five hull left. Ray's lost one shield. All right, Vader gets his third force point back. Leia gets one charge back.
could stop again with the U-Wing, which is not a terrible idea. I wonder if Sunterfell would try, would dare K-turn that. Something like a one forward out of AP5. Coordinate a focus to Blue Squadron Pilot. Coordinate a barrel roll. Would that fit? A one here and a one forward. Ooh, would that be uh, maybe a one bank? Alright, a one bank or a one backwards from AP5. <laughs> looking to just get in the way here. One bank from the U Wing. Just looking to stick around. Same with this B Wing. Oh man, if that If that interceptor K turns, this is gonna be bad news bears. As a five forward, not interested in this fight. Probably gonna flip his crit, and he does. Does he want to boost? He's still in the back arc of AP5. That's not nothing. Oh, he might uh, barrel roll. Yep. Smart. Takes the the uh, stress. Vader with the one bank bumps. He's got all of his force points, but he's also got two arcs to contend with. Gets his, He'll probably get his auto thrusters, his free evade from the gas cloud. Oh yeah, that would be closest to closest. Hit crit. Uh, advanced targeting computer turns the hit to a crit. Fire control system rerolls the blank into a hit. And nothing from the U Wing. One, two, three. Let's see what these crits are damaged engine and hull breach. Hull breach. Less and less bad the closer you get to one. Blue Squadron number three. Two hits. Gonna reroll with the target lock. Ooh, gets a crit. Can Vader live? Oh, he's dead! He gets auto thrusters on one, but takes hit crit. Oh, luck runs out for Darth Vader. Soonter fell 
Can he do it? Sixty-four to one sixty-two. Seven minutes left in the game. All right, Leia gets a charge back. Uh, Suntrafell is stressed, so we know what kind of maneuver he needs to do. It's probably going to be a two bank. Looks like Vinny's off the board over here. Got one Phantom on one hull. Or, yeah, one hull. So, Jadak, he's not going home empty handed. Looks like these guys have plenty of time to catch up to Ray and get things going. The Phantom trains are coming. I see it too hard here from the Partisan Renegade. 5 needs to stick around, stick with his friends. But that stress does not help him. Hard two turn, probably from the Blue Squadron pilot, maybe a barrel roll. Goes for a two bank with AP5. Might need to back up again. Get away from that board edge next turn. Gets rid of the stress. Gonna coordinate a focus to blue squadron number three. Ewing with a three bank. They're going for the long game. Ewing goes for the coordinate. Not, uh, not gonna get rid of any of these. Actually, can any of these be gotten rid of? Hull breach can. Doesn't matter too much on two hull, but uh, goes for the coordinate. There's the, the one talent roll. I'm gonna roll forward. And another one. All right, so Sunter fell too hard. Probably will go for the boost. Probably the Kerr. Mm, he could get a shot on the U-Wing, and he does. Does he stay in arc here for the B-Wing? I think so. Gonna shoot range three at an unmodded U-Wing. 3v3. sunter has got a focus. He's thinking about it. Is he gonna risk it? No, he's not. One crit into the U-Wing. And it goes through! <laughs> oh boy, hull breach. Uh, doesn't matter because it's already a crit. As long as it's not a double damage, it is a stunned pilot. There it is, range two obstructed for the U-Wing, who has, I believe, a focus. 
3v4. Needs paint. And he gets it, a hit and two crits into Sunter Fell. Can he dodge it? He does, all paint on the evade dice. Three natural evades and a focus. He's A-OK. -okay. I think this Ewing needs to run. He needs to three bank. Get behind this gas cloud and focus. B-wings need to coordinate, need to get their stuff together. Let's take a look at that sheathapede dial. Yeah, they're gonna go one more round. They got 53 seconds left. Does have a white two hard turn. Okay, so it, it probably can make it. There's the uh, time in the round. I've been held up in this city for a while due to the rain. Can Sunterfell live? Is there any way that he could make up a hundred points? <laughs> no. A backup maneuver from AP5. Oh, he, they're flipping uh, Leia. That's right. So the backup is white. Coordinates a focus to the B-Wing. Who's probably going to talon roll over this debris. Is that the three bank? He went forward four. Oh, I think I would have wanted to come around just a little bit more, but that's fine. Oh, a two hard turn. Okay, let's see. Can we see another another crit on a debris? Nope. He's fine, double stressed, but there are no other turns. Just don't want to have an illegal board state. Two bank from this B-Wing. Loses his action because he went over a gas cloud. Also, he doesn't relieve his stress. Sunter fell three forward. Should be able to just Focus or evade boost. Yep, that's fine. There it is. Range one with Predator into the U-Wing who has won. He should be able to finish off this ship no problem. Going to Predator. Into a blank. Spins the focus. He's tired of this U-Wing. He doesn't want to go home without it. The U-Wing rolls, evade, focus, takes the, the hit, and dies. like the B-Wings only have one shot. It's this unmodded shot range 2. Hit focus focus and there's an evade. Oh, nope, he's got he's got a target lock. Hit crit. 
So one evade from Sutra Fell and he's fine. He gets the evade, spins the evade token, and that is it. GG, gentlemen. Thanks to these players for playing. Thanks to the audience for watching. Rebel beef is real. Go says it too much beef. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this game. And I think that's going to do it for this stream. Actually, we'll, we'll probably check in on the Kuiper game next door, but uh, that's it. So thanks for watching. Till next time, Scott from the Hexile Gaming, signing off.